there has been a Putnam auction bidding change. Hey guys, this is Aaron Kinder from FloridaWholesaleLand.com and I am going to bring you this change and keep you up to date with everything that's going on in the Putnam County, Florida tax deed auction. Okay, so let's log into our account. Okay, let's hit the confirm button with the ACH. We know about that. Okay, important message regarding assets values. That's right. Remember, guys, this is always a buyer beware auction. Hit the OK button on that one. There we go. Okay, charge to a wire transfer fee. Nothing's changed here. Additional $25 if you are going to wire transfer your funds post auction. Boom! Here it is, guys. Change in bidding increments. All right, guys, this is going to impact you. This is going to impact you. Okay. Let's read it here. Please be advised that effective the next tax deed sale is scheduled for April 10th. Hey guys, that's like like two days and a half away. The bid the bid increment for all sales going forward will increase from ten dollars to one hundred dollars. Okay, so what does that mean to you? That means if you've placed proxy bids in this auction right now. And maybe you placed them a while ago and you did in $10 or $10 increments. You might want to go back and fix them and make them in $100 increments so that your proxy bids don't just get washed out. It's very possible that the system will just auto wash out your proxy bids if they were done in $10 increments. Now, what would that mean? That would mean like maybe it was your proxy bid was $1,000. $520, right? That would be the $20 would be the $10 increments. You would probably need to change that to $1,600 and bring it up to the next $100 increment. So all bids from here on out are going, the minimum bid are going to be in $100 increments. How does this impact you? Okay, this is going to impact you also by speeding up the auction, Speeding up the auction because last month's auction, if you remember, let's just even go to it. Last month's auction, there was a lot of properties, 130 properties, and they were in $10 increment minimum bids. So when someone outbids you, they only outbid you by like 10 more dollars. And then you're like, no, 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 I want the property. And you outbid them by 10 more dollars. And let me tell you, that went on forever for each property. And it took the auction forever to complete. It took forever to get through 130 properties last month. So Putnam County is now doing what Polk County does. They bid in $100 increments. And if you bid in $100 increments, that's going to make the auction go much faster. Now, it's not going to go super fast. It's not like, oh, we went all day and now it's only in three hours. No, 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 no. If there's a lot of properties, it's still going to take a long time. Now, the other impact to this means that you're going to be winning pro uh, properties at a higher price because every property, the next bid will always be rounded up to the next $100. So that's going to impact you there, meaning that you're, you're probably always going to pay just a little bit more for all your properties. Here's another impact that it's going to get you. But before we get there, Hey guys, do you need a real estate attorney? I bet you do. If you are dealing with tax deeds, tax deed properties in Florida, most likely you're going to need a quiet title on some properties. Maybe all your properties, maybe one property, or maybe just the good properties. Hey guys, I use LCO Law LLC. Hey guys, go visit my friends at lcolawfl.com. Go visit Natalia Olet Grice. And her team over there, and they can take care of you in regards to quieting title. You know, if you're going to bid in on any of these properties in the Putnam County, Florida auction, well, then you're probably going to have to quiet title some of them. All right, guys, let's get back to the auction. Now, let's see. So if you're paying more for the property, that also means that your recording cost at the end of the auction on that property is going to be incrementally more as well. Okay. So with this bidding of $10 to $100, hey guys, this impacts. Now, it's not like a super, super, super big, big, big impact that's going to break the bank. No, it's not. It just means the auction's going to go a little faster. It means you're going to pay a little more overall for the property. For this auction, if you placed a proxy bid much earlier in $10 increments, 
I don't know if it's going to get washed out. You might want to change the proxy bids, round them up to $100 increments. It also means you're going to pay a little more for the recording costs, right? And here's another thing about auctions, right? Another thing about auctions is that when you come to the auction, hey, guys, there's, you know, the bidding is going to be very hot and heavy at certain points of the auction. And at other points of the auction, it may not be so hot and heavy, right? So these auctions, when you're coming to them and you're bidding and you're bidding in hundred dollar increments, guys, get ready, get get ready. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I still see my proxy bid over here on this property that I was using uh, to train somebody. Let me go ahead and remove it. So let's see. So let's just test this thing. Let's see if I could do. I had a. Let's remove my bid here. Okay, so my proxy bid was removed. Gotcha. Now let's place another proxy bid and let's try to do it and let's try to do it in a $10 increment. See what happens. Confirm bid. Okay. So my proxy bid was accepted with that $10 increment. I'm not sure if that proxy bid is going to survive guys. Now, of course, this is my training video. There's no money loaded up. So of course it's not going to survive, but your bidding increments now need to look like this, right? Instead of $3,010, it would be $3,000. $100. Hit confirm bid. Okay. Bada bing. So with your bidding increments now going from 10 to 100, when you place your proxy bids, you're going to have to do everything around your $10 all the way up to the next 100, right? So it's no longer think in increments of $10, think of increments of $100. So even on this property, let's see, the opening bid is $1,747. So the lowest opening bid on this one, let me remove uh, remove my bid, okay? The opening bid on this one, let's just place another one again, is going to be $1,800, confirm bid. That is the cheapest amount you could possibly win the very first property in this auction, would be $1,800. Not $1,750, because that's what it would used to be. $1,800. Hey guys, if you are looking for great land that you can get dirt cheap and you can owner finance, then go visit my buddy Josh at usrecland.com. Hey guys, Josh literally sells land like rapido. As soon as he has properties up here, they are sold relatively fast. So if you see one that you like, hey, you're probably going to need to jump on it as fast as you can because these things don't last long. Josh always has a great supply of property coming through. And guys, it isn't just Florida. So he's got properties. Look, this is in Alabama. Some of these look like they're in Mississippi. Here's Florida. I think there's one in Michigan. Guys, he's got properties all over. They don't last long and you better hop on them and owner financing for everybody. So it just means that Yep, you qualify. All right, guys, but if you're looking for cheap Florida land, we'll come to cheapflland.com. Go visit my buddy Scott. But hey, he sells it pretty fast too. Look, sell pending, 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 pending. He only has one property for sale. Hey, guys, go visit Scott at cheapflland.com. All right, guys, back to the auction. So with these $100 increment bids remember you got to make sure your proxy bids are done properly you adjust them properly and you got to be ready for the auction because from here on out for the next auction it's going to be this way and for the next auction it's going to be this way let's go back to the calendar and let's see let's go to the month of may let's see if it's posted okay may has posted june probably has not posted okay may has posted out here and there's a lot of properties, 138 left out of 145. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a heads up, guys. I know this for a fact. In the future months of Putnam County, probably starting in July, could be in June, but I think it's July, we're going to see multiple auctions in a month. We're going to see one in the second Wednesday of the month, and it's very possible we could see one on the third Wednesday of the month. Why am I saying this? There is so many properties coming through Putnam County, coming through the tax deed auction, that the clerical court's office has now opened up another auction date. I know this for a fact because the clerical court sent me a bill to let me know that that's going to happen. So 
I know for a fact it's going to happen in August. I believe it's going to happen in July too. And I believe it's probably going to start in the month of July. So what does this mean to you? It just means that you're going to have way more properties to bid on in the later part of the year. There's going to be even more properties to bid on. More opportunities for you to buy land dirt cheap. Pardon the pun. Hey guys, if you haven't joined my secret club membership at floridahostelland.com, why haven't you? Hey, join. Our membership has been growing incrementally, little by little, and I've been getting great feedback from our club members. I've been helping everybody who's come out and has become a club member. I've been getting their questions answered. We've been having a great time teaching and learning about Florida tax deeds. Hey, guys, I'm here for you. This is not a real estate investment seminar. This is not a gimmick, right? This is literally me sharing all of my experience with you. That's right. To get you started. All right, guys, if you like the videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Bye now.